Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelos and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Today we'll work on something related to V-Ray and rendering and I like to create something like a, a chessboard with some pieces over it and we'll try to use it just to uh, create something really photoreal and uh, we'll use V-Ray and uh, it is, you know, really simple and in the past we used it a lot in 3D uh, this kind of scene to see the photo relief and to make modeling so it's something really old that will be uh, simple and interesting to work on some uh, topic related to photoreal material and uh, a photoreal rendering so We'll start preparing the, uh, the chessboard. The chessboard will be really simple. So we check the unit setup and we are working in centimeters. So, and we'll do it, we'll model it using a real world scale. So uh, we'll do uh, something like 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. That's something in between uh, the uh, tournament style board and uh, the casual board. So uh, let's go there and we need it uh, 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters and the 8 will be for the moment 2 centimeters for the main area of the board. Maybe we can do also lower 1 centimeters. So then we need uh, to have uh, the board and the board can be simulated using a um, We'll use the map and uh, actually uh, let's call it chess board and actually we use a really simple material and later we'll work on the final material uh, then let's go there and let's use the checker it is perfect to do something like that you see uh, we need to have uh, eight boxes uh, over uh, one axis and the eight bo boxes or on the other axis so we can have four tiling and four tiling so we have eight over every single axis so it's not important the material there so for the moment we can stay with this material without problem without any issue um, Actually, it's not a problem, the, the shader, so we can finalize in this way and we can call it chess board. Let's convert to editable poly and I like to do something over the edges to have more detail. So let's go near and then we go for a sunfer. Uh, obviously it will be really really teeny with more steps okay perfect close and then let's work on the material now so that's the main face and this one will have the ID 1 then select invert and we'll have ID number 2 close there back in the material that's the chessboard we set for the multi sub objects keep all material to maintain the first one set a number to use two material the first one is the chessboard and it's visible and the second one is the, uh, let's say for the moment, a standard material chessboard side. Okay, so let's say, and that's all. So uh, as I said to you before, uh, the first part of the video will work to create the photoreal chessboard using V-Ray. Maybe we can add some parts to see how to do the same using, for example, uh, the uh, IRA. It will be really interesting and nice. So uh, we have this one. Uh, I like to have something uh, around uh, uh, this piece. And so we can create something made, for example, by uh, wood. 
So we go in uh, extended primitives, chamfer box, and we can create something really, really fast. Okay. Then uh, let's say that this one is high four centimeter. It will have this one coming out from the, the first one. We can align to the center of this one just over the other axis. And then let's work on the main viewport. So uh, it will be maybe 35 centimeters by 35 centimeters. The fillet will be 0 0.5 centimeters. So you see that's the curve we are working on. And that's all. That's all. So back there, uh, let's say that we have more segments there for the fillet. Convert to editable poly. Let's select the face on the top and we go for ID number two or maybe we can say a number one and edit select invert number two. Okay, so uh, this one will be chessboard box. Let's go in the material editor and we can create another material using the multi sub objects using two material as before. This one will be the box and the first material is on the top and it will be boot. Uh, let's say bright. So this one will be something like that. And the second one, it's a standard material for the moment, and that's a uh, wood dark. And it will be something like that. Okay, nice. So uh, we have uh, the basic stuff there, and I like to start preparing, for example, uh, the first piece and this will be nothing so complex so let's go on the side there and we can start playing with the uh, we can do it obviously out of scale it's not a problem and later we'll work to have the right scaling so uh, let's say that we have something like uh, an arc maybe something like that and that's the, the top okay then we can play with a new spline and let's say that there we are creating something like that obviously now I'm not working to have the right detail it's not a problem but later we have to add it so let's say that we have something there and then something there there and again Let's say something like that, and then we can close. Okay, let's work on the detail. So, first of all, we have to fuse these vertices. So, let's weld, and we have it. Uh, let's go in isolation, and we can play just over the spline. Then we have the right curve there and we can start playing with the, the detail that's the first detail there let's go to use the fillet so we have a little curve there back on the selection that's the other vertices 
and it needs to seem like the curve is continuing there okay nice then this one will go harder and then we are on a nice area this one can be nearest and let's zoom and we can add a sulfur and a sulfur also there to have more detail then we can start playing with the detail and let's say that we go for something like that this one can be scaled to there and then this one would be really near but I like to add the sulfur there then back to the selection we have the other one it will stay near let's say something like that and then all these vertices can be near because there is too much scale and I like to have a better representation of our curve so also these vertices can be higher there we can go a little bit out and then select again there and move up nice so then I select both there we can have a little bit of fillet and there we can have a little bit of sulfur so now we can try to use the modifier and see if uh, it is working fine and where we have to add more detail so uh, we have to use the late let's say well core and let's say that we have 32 okay now we have the normal in the right place let's say that we have to change a little bit the scaling so this area must go there and also this area must go there let's see the final result you see that the proportion is better than before so that's not bad and I think uh, it can be enough we have just to change something over there let's zoom to this area and we have to add a little bit of fillet perfect so exit and we have our first piece let's say that we see the shaded mode and we can move it for example there and we have to scale it to fit in the right side let's say it is something like that zoom there okay maybe it can be a little bit more little perfect and then we can move it then we have to zoom on this side I like to be a mil a really really precise so right mouse button there and we can use this one perfect
So that's our first piece. And you see that, it is not bad. I like just to make some copies and later we can add more of it. Let's say that we have another one there as an instance. But let's say that this one is chess piece. So then we can copy there as an instance. And another one there. Just to start having something. Let's say another one there. Okay, so uh, now I like to have two colors, so we can color, for example, uh, this pieces, let's call it white pieces, and we assign it, and that's white, and let's call it, for this one, black pieces and it will be black just give a little bit of uh, specularity to see it so uh, that's nice then uh, let's create a camera for the moment it will be uh, a temporary camera or maybe okay yes yes let's use a physical camera let's go there and see key to have the camera point of view and then select target and move it so we can have something like that then with the control key we select also the camera and then just the control key And we have something like that. For the moment, it's, it's a really, really uh, simple. And move over the local axis. And move also to have it on the top. Do something like that and then again using the multi selection with the target with the view so we are there nice okay uh, so for the moment let's say with something like that and save so we have no configuration actually uh, we have nothing special but we can start to tune V-Ray, we have to assign V-Ray as rendering engine and we have the possibility to go there and that's rise and active shade V-Ray RT let's say that we have the global illumination and then we say active shade let's say CPU, that's nice and say active shade so it is loading the plugin and it is ready to prepare the scene to render it with a uh, v-ray rt we have no uh, illumination there so we can start adding let's say a v-ray light Uh, you see that it is updating and I like to play a little bit with the lighting actually we'll do something really simple I mean we'll have a light over the scene nothing so complex so you see it's really really uh, nothing special and we'll see to have a better illumination later maybe using an HDR map uh, we can have more lighting to light the scene 
we can go also higher I like to see also the camera configuration there so select camera and let's go there let's go for a neutral white balance and we'll have maybe 250 film speed ISO and let's go lower with the shutter speed maybe higher and for the moment we can stay with this configuration that's nice okay uh, we can scale a little bit the the light because I like to see uh, more precise shadows so let's select the light let's go to see inside the camera there and let's say that it is a little bit more little nice so um, 16 subdivision there to have better quality for lighting and then we need maybe just a little bit more power for the light and for the moment we can stay with this configuration later we'll see we prepare something more complex so uh, then let's start working with the material first of all save then back to the material and let's start doing something interesting and we start having the blackboard there will be a V-ray material it will be obviously black, black. it will have fresh reflection with a, a nice reflection over you see and then for the moment we go to have a glossy surface okay nice so you see now it is uh, a simple shade or nothing so complex now we go uh, inside the map there and we say that we like to have a bump uh, let's use a bitmap and we'll use a map from 3ds max let's see if we have some uh, simple food that can be used in this case um, and I think that something like that can be nice so let's use this one let's see how the map looks over the scene let's pick this one generate mapping coordinates and let's say that we have 46 segments and then there we rotate by 90 degree so you see we have the right visibility for the map back in the rendering we go to have a lower blur uh, this time is too much let's go for 0 0.25 and I like to have a higher level there but before we have to control the reflectivity using this map so we do a copy let's set to off this one let's see the map okay so uh, let's check again the map okay let's go to have a color correction over this map keep all map and I like to have an higher brightness so we have just some area with a little bit less reflectivity and we play also with the contrast a little bit nice then let's copy the same over the uh, reflection glossiness as a copy and then we can play with this map you see that now we have too much glossiness so we have to go higher there but I like to have more contrast so we'll have some pieces with glossy and some pieces with less glossy okay nice back there and let's see to have the bumping
maybe we need a better quality because this one is really really uh, little so uh, it is better to have a nice texture maybe this one can be an F okay that's how it, it looks let's try to rotate back to zero okay and let's do the same over the other so the map will be this one we have no rotation but we need also to work on the grayscale so let's remove there and let's go to see how it looks okay let's remove this one let's make a clone and then let's play with the glossiness there okay nice let's say that maybe this one is 70 percent and the reflection there also is 75 percent so we have just a partial control made by the texture back with the uh, bump there let's go lower 35 percent it's nice there so save then uh, let's work on the white and we'll start having uh, maybe just a white material with a little bit of reflectivity this time it will be an eye reflectivity with a little bit of reflection glossiness but I like to work more on this one uh, let's change a little bit the color to something more interesting okay a little bit more yellow and less saturation nice okay so uh, let's say that we have more reflectivity over the side of this object uh, so then I like to start playing with the, uh, the chessboard so we have to work on this side and the side boot will be a boot so we work with a, a V-ray material we have a map so let's use a bitmap and we need a boot uh, we have not so much texture but uh, we can see if some of it can be used this one maybe is too heavy but I'm not sure maybe this one can work but it is a little bit dark maybe okay let's try it is not bad I mean maybe we need a tiling so let's try to have no blurring and let's try to have three and three for the tiling so maybe we have more uh, detail let's try to maintain this texture for the moment uh, we'll have a fractional reflectivity too on this one and we have a map to control it let's copy the diffuse one and then there we work with a color correction keep all map and we go to have a low saturation let's see if we are working with a yes that's nice and let's go there and let's say that it is brighter to have more reflectivity and then we have to start playing with our reflection glossiness also there we'll use a map so we can make a clone of this one and we try to play a little bit with this map okay to see better maybe 
we can move just for a moment uh, a piece over it so we can see really nice how it is working uh, let's say that the reflection I like to see before how it works just using no maps so let's go for a maximum reflection you see that it is not so high and let's remove there so we have the reflectivity there we can see it that's the freshener reflection you see the reflectivity there let's go in this way maybe before we can work with the map you see that we have less map than before and then the glossiness so now we can play with the parameters so let's go to have a darker map to have more glossiness nice and then let's play with the uh, the map there but we can go directly maybe working on the freshener reflection and let's try to have a little bit more reflectivity on this side okay let's say that we have also this parameter and we go to work at 85 percent for with the map and let's go there and uh, we cannot remove all the saturation okay then let's copy this one and we copy inside the bump we can go for the saturation and obviously we need to remove a little bit of blurring there so you see the effect actually is better than before okay let's work on the other side and the other side maybe there we can have a little bit less bumping just a little bit okay uh, this side will be a dark wood so we have to do the same thing we can maybe copy this one there as a copy call it wood dark let's save okay nice and let's pick a new map there so we need a darker wood we can try with this one but it's really really a uh, little map we can try with this one it is really elegant as you see but I think that the other one is not nice now so uh, let's do the change we done on the other map so we have to change on all slot okay and for the moment it's nice but it needs to be more reflective so we go there and we use an eye reflection and it needs to be less glossy so just a little bit okay and obviously we have to tune up all the stuff when we have final material uh, back on the first one maybe we can do something really simple we set the color as this one and then we say to use less the, the first map that's not nice so I prefer to move with uh, another map 
but we have a lot of uh, not so nice wood let's see with this one obviously with 100% usage and with no tiling okay maybe this one is better than the other so uh, we have the two to ash let's go to select the right map in all slot okay nice obviously we have to play on the lighting too still so uh, back there uh, we have this map and we have to start playing on this one so we have the color and we have the black and white let's copy the map v-ray material and paste as a copy so uh, we can do two things first of all we can change a little bit the color and go to something like that okay then we can use a different reflection so let's copy there and we say that on the white we have let's say maybe a little bit more because it is clear but obviously we have to set the fresh and reflection let's go to 2 so let's say that there we have really high reflectivity and on the black we have a lower reflectivity a little bit lower then we do the same to control the reflection glossiness and let's say that we have glossiness over there and there we see maybe just a little bit on the white let's try with something like that and there obviously not so much okay maybe we can have okay we have the right uh, reflectivity there uh, so uh, then I like to have just a little bit of bumping so let's say that we have a bump there and we can use a noise maybe a cellular so we can have something more natural discard our map it's really really big so let's go with one zero one okay it is going better let's say zero zero three so now it is really little nice maybe we can have it just on the white so uh, on the black sorry so let's copy this one we can move this one there there paste as a copy and we'll have on the black this map and on the white we have no map so later we have to cut there and paste there so we have the bumping just where we have the black and let's go higher okay we see the bumping there over the map nice so uh, let's add another light just to start see something more interesting 
uh, let's create a V-Ray light and we can create a V-Ray light on this side sorry and we can move this one there so we have a light coming from the back as you see and let's say that this light has a different color maybe something hot and it is less powerful let's say 150 we have to work more on the shaders obviously you see that uh, a lot of stuff must be tweaked then let's change it to this map and I like to see the boxes there so we have to change something I made a mistake uh, let's say first of all that the checker is visible and then we need it made in a different way so uh, let's copy it there as a copy nice and then there let's remove and let's say that this one is a mask so mask keep all mask move it there is a swap and then we copy this one there so now we should have the right result okay we have the bumping there nice okay close we can move it back and select the camera let's say that we like to specify the focus let's say that our focus is there and let's say that we have also the depth of field so you see that we see the depth of field inside the preview too but we have to change a little bit the okay the interest is on this one the first one okay you see that the image is coming better than before uh, let's say that we have the blades with uh, uh, five angles five side you see that obviously the uh, the scene is not complete but it's starting to be better than before okay so that's just the beginning we have to work on the shaders to finalize the scene I like to work more on the white shader because I like to use the subsurface scattering. Then we have to play with the illumination. I like to add also an HDR map and I like to revise the wood we are working there, maybe with a different map or maybe with a better uh, 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 setup for the shader. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.